The rise of artificial intelligence. Everybody knows Alexa, Siri, Watson, but now the oil and gas industries are betting big on AI as well. Joining us now, the author of The Sentiment Machine, Spark Cognition founder and CEO, Amir Hussein. Amir, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Why Maria. is artificial intelligence so important? And, and why has it grown as much as it has in every industry? Then you've got to tell us about the energy sector specifically. Absolutely. Artificial intelligence for the first time allows us the ability to replicate the marvels of the human mind. Maybe not in complete terms, but even in narrow terms. The kind of thinking, the kind of critical thinking that uh, human beings, advanced practitioners in many different industries employ. AI gives us a way to automate that. So in that sense, it's the replication of the human mind or many of its capacities. Now, that has tremendous economic potential. Uh, we saw with the invention of the steam engine, the replication of the human muscle, that led to an entire industrial revolution. This cognitive revolution is going to completely um, uh, overshadow anything that we've seen thus far. Wow. So how's the energy space doing it? Well, the energy space has so many opportunities to employ AI. Uh, in the traditional uh, fossil fuel industry, there's um, AI algorithms for um, identifying better drilling sites, keeping drilling equipment up and running using what's called prognostics, uh, with AI-based algorithms predicting when machines might fail. Uh, there's also all of this... Uh, um, optimization capability that AI brings for onshore and offshore platforms. It can evaluate risk better than single human practitioners can. And, you know, we've had several offshore incidents in the past. Uh, AI technology can reduce those risks. So it's very holistic. It's, it's very broad. And we today, Spark Cognition is working, for example, with BP and several other of the super major uh, companies that uh, I can't uh, mention the other names, but also for technology providers, uh, companies like FlowServe, that's the largest manufacturer of pumps, and uh, uh, Dover. So this is real. It's happening now. It's not theoretical. I mean, Amir, you've got a couple of concerns with AI. On the one hand, you've got sort of the Terminator concern about will this take over. But on a more practical a lot of people level, do. you have the economic concern, which is AI goes after white collar jobs. It goes after the analytical jobs. These are not just the muscle jobs. These are the things people get a higher education, yeah. get trained to go do. You're optimistic about that. Why are you so optimistic about our ability to adapt to that? I'll, I'll try and fit the argument in a very short uh, piece here. So first of all, AI in military is going to change the world. Um, I've worked extensively, written extensively about this. There's an entire chapter in the book called Hyperwar. Uh, and I think that there's tremendous opportunities there. Vladimir Putin recently said that he who controls AI controls the world. I agree with him. Wow. So there's that element of it. Then beyond that, there's also work in factories, which is being roboticized. Even in places like China, where you've had low-cost uh, labor, traditionally, large quantities of robots, m larger orders, by the way, are being placed by China than there are being placed in the U.S. So China is roboticizing even faster than we are here in the U.S. So that does take away at some of the low-end jobs, but you're correct, even some of the high-end jobs. Mm. Look, the reality is not every job that goes away will immediately get replaced with something else. Or ever. Yeah, but I, I do think there's a certain part of AI that will help people do their jobs better, just like we're seeing with physicians or nurses. Yes. You're talking about, obviously, yes. oil and, and gas. I uh, run a staffing business in oil and gas. We saw all the jobs go away. Now they've come back. Mm -hmm. Do you think jobs will come back, continue to come back in oil and gas with AI, or do you think they will be eliminated? Jobs might shift. Overall, I think the trend for many industries will be that we won't require the same number of human beings to do the, uh, produce the kind of output that we're producing today. This is not something that I'm saying that's revolutionary or new. This is the history of application of technology in industry. But I will say one important thing, which is that the real conversation is what are we going to do about the social contract? Mm. We see all these things coming. What are we doing about the social contract? The Chinese over the next five years are spending $150 billion of government spend on AI development. Mm -hmm. In 2015, we did 1.1. And in 2016, we accelerated that to this massive wow. 1.2. Amir, great to have you on the program this morning. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. Thank you so much. Amir Hussein there.